Aloha, I'm Kiana Kayabiab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Hawaii Congressman Kai Kahele said that today the Navy is experiencing a crisis of astronomical proportions in Hawaii as military officials scramble to respond to hundreds of reports from residents that their tap water smells of fuel. Nearly 100,000 people in the areas of Moana Lua and Lower Halava on Oahu have been told by health officials not to drink the water. During a hearing of the House Armed Services Committee today, Kahele said the Navy's water system is contaminated with petroleum. He said people and animals are getting sick and he demanded that military officials give answers to the community. The Navy and Hawaii Department of Health have been taking samples of tap water all week and sending them to a lab on the mainland for testing because there is no local lab capable of the needed level of sensitivity. The first results are expected today. Hawaii Department of Health officials today reported one new coronavirus-related death on Oahu and 126 new infections statewide. The latest figures bring the state's total since the start of the pandemic to 1,027 fatalities and 87,898 cases. Today's new infection count includes 52 cases on Oahu, 34 on Kauai, 18 on Maui, 17 on Hawaii Island, and six Hawaii residents diagnosed outside the state. One previously reported case on Molokoi has been removed from the overall count. Health officials also said today that of the state's total infection count, 1,294 cases were considered to be active, down 43 from a day earlier. As of today, 71.5% of Hawaii's population is fully vaccinated, and 77.3% have received at least one dose. Honolulu police are investigating an early morning robbery after a security guard was tased and four electric bicycles were stolen from a Kaka'ako business early today. The robbery occurred at Segway of Hawaii at the Coral Commercial Center on Oahe Street at about 5.10 a.m. Surveillance video footage showed one of three suspects using a torch against a store window before a security guard approached them. The suspect tased the guard and three suspects clad in hoodies reversed a black pickup truck into the storefront, shattering the glass window. They fled in the vehicle with three stolen electric dirt bikes and an electric bicycle. The pickup truck has the word Aloha and a black and white floral stripe sticker on the passenger side. Police said there have been no arrests as of this morning and anyone with information is asked to call 911. A federal judge in Hawaii has sentenced an Arizona man to three years in prison after he pleaded guilty to cyber stalking and admitted posting online sexual videos of a woman. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Hawaii said that while he was in a relationship with the woman, Micah Goodale recorded sexually explicit videos of her, and after their relationship ended, he published the videos on a website that hosts adults' pornography for free streaming. The Associated Press reported that the videos included Goodale and the woman having sex, and he also posted the woman's full name, phone number, and address. Goodale, a 27-year-old resident of Queen Creek, Arizona, had pleaded guilty to cyber-stalking in July. A plea agreement states he signed onto her social media account in November 2019 and posted links to the videos of the woman who lived in Hawaii at the time. Finally, Hamilton, the Broadway blockbuster that swept the nation with its contemporary portrayal of America's founding fathers, will be headlining a slate of Broadway shows coming to Hawaii. The latest Broadway in Hawaii lineup was also announced today and also includes the local premiere of Beautiful, the Carol King musical, Cats, and the previously announced Jersey Boys. The season opens April 19th for a six-day run of Beautiful, and Jersey Boys is scheduled for September, and Cats returns to Hawaii in June 2023, after a successful run in 2010. Lin-Manuel Miranda's Hamilton opens in December 2022 for an extended run from December 8th through January 29th, 2023. For more information, go to broadwayinhawaii.com. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. 
Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Are you ready to score big? Make sure to check out the Honolulu Star Advertisers Football Fever every Monday through Wednesday for your official ballot to play and enter for a chance to win $500 weekly or the chance to win the grand prize, a Big Green Egg Kamado Grill. Match or beat the score and you qualify to win. Don't forget to drop off your entry at select Long's Drugs location. Good luck! Special thanks to sponsors Long's Drugs, Hawaiian Telecom, and Mercedes-Benz of Honolulu.